Why do you punish me like this, Leonora? Hmm? You know I can't sleep. That I don't. Night after night beside you, nothing. I tremble. Do you know that? I shake the frustration. Is it so much to ask? Minutes to give a few minutes of yourself to let me sleep peacefully? This what tortures me that for a few minutes of your bed I could sleep the whole night. It's a sin to deny me. I hope you confess it. Oh, you confess my sin. You confess yours. What? You heard me. And don't shout your wicked children. I'd like to know what you mean by that. Oh, please, don't bother. No, no, I'd like to know what you meant by that remark. Oh, please, just leave me alone. Oh, me, me, me. There's all you think about. E, yo, e, yo, e, yo. Oh, boy. Don't speak to me like that. I know what you're thinking. Like you're some bloody saint. Well, you're not. Oh. You try. Madonna. You try selling amusement machines when there's a war breaking out. And that's another thing. Those bastards, they, they lock me up, you know. They could intern me. And you're at will you do this. It's all right, Joya. It's all right. Go back to sleep, darling. You only have to look at me and I get pregnant. My insides are like broken glass from you. And that poor child calling me, born with the rent man at the bottom of the desk, shouting at her razor for his money, and where were you? On business. On business. Business that costs us money. Oh, stop. And now I managed to stay together enough to feed us and to clothe us, and you want me to confess. You talk about minutes, you talk about minutes, oh yes. You don't have to get pregnant. We could just cuddle. I'll say though, there's money in the tin. Why don't you go and buy a cuddle? <laughs> You made me do that. There's all kinds of whoring. Pay with pound notes, pay in kind. No difference, it's a whore. You make me do that. You made me old and ugly with a drop of blood. Don't blame me. You let yourself go. There's no need. Oh, you're right. It's easy to be beautiful. Take away the children and the work and the worry and the lies and the humiliations and it's the simplest thing in the world to be beautiful. Oh, love. Everyone who is loved is beautiful. Easy. I do love you, but you won't let me. How can I love you when you won't let me? I refuse to cry. I'm not going to cry anymore for you. I promise myself. Oh, you'd like me to go, wouldn't you? You'd like me to leave you. Do what you like, Alfredo. You will anyway. Oh, I... Now, you wait, Teresa. Oh, 
Lydia. The hours and hours I have wasted waiting by telephones, waiting for you to call me, not knowing whether you were staying or leaving or what. I know. Night after night, not a whisper. Could have been dead, all of us, for all you knew. Mama! Fredo, I don't want you to come to me, not dragging your guilt behind you. I don't want that dragging us down. I know. Don't stay out of charity, Alfredo. I won't have you pitying me. I know. I pitied her. Only a sick man would desert his family for a slut. I pity her. She must be simple. I will not be your vice. I will not be your sin. I will not be confessed. If you're ashamed of me, give me up. No, if you're ashamed of me, I'll give you up. I know. I know. You, you always say, say that. that. As if it explained everything. As if to say I know was enough. What am I supposed to say? Don't, Don't say, say anything. anything. Gran! Do you pity me? Do you really want to be with me? Well? Yes or no? No. Y yes. No, look. I do love you. I do. I do love you. Believe me. And, and what, what about, about her? her? Do you tell her you love her? You tell her you love her? No. Because if I you do not believe you, you would say you anything to her. Take your way out of trouble. You're a lies. You're a terrible liar. Am I supposed to blast with all those excuses? Because I will not have to treat it. Not to say it. I hear myself think. The thing is, I look at her and then I look at you. And Andre, number five. Kelly Tai and number one. Lickety click, sixty six. Me and you, number two. I lay on the floor. I could hear these sounds groans, wailing, awful sounds, sobs. And they were me. It was coming from me. He just stood there saying things. How he would make it all better. Shh, don't wake the children. Italian words. He always used Italian words when in those situations. But you see, the pain filled me up. Filled my head up. There wasn't any room for it. So it didn't matter what he was saying like a box which is full up but you still try and squeeze a little more in like a suitcase like a suitcase already stuffed with clothes and you're trying to squeeze in a pair of shoes or a my head felt as if it were bulging bulging with the pain as if my head were as big as the room I remember that sensation as if my head were as big as the womb. Because he'd broken my heart, you see. <sighs> he'd broken my heart. But I'll tell you what was funny. When I realized the noise I was making, this wailing noise, it made me want to laugh. I was screaming and howling and it was such a funny noise coming out of my huge great head. I just wanted to giggle. My children, did you say goodbye? Yes, I said goodbye. Of course I said goodbye. and out of the door and the noise was like a thousand seagulls flying above my head. It was the worst thing I ever did. Thanks. What? Forget it. What are you doing? Packing your clothes. Because I really... If it was the worst thing you ever did, then don't do it. Everything with you is so loud, so... Seagulls, it's not 
Verdi. You know, you've left your wife. You wanted to, that's all. She said she'd kill herself. That she'd kill them all. Yes, well, I'm sure she does feel pretty badly about it. What did you expect? Flowers? No. I'm just trying to say, it's unlikely she will actually kill anybody. Well, I suppose she's capable of killing me. Oh, yes. She could kill you. You could have brought the children. No. No. Stupid. Elizabeth told me. She said I was. She said I'd ruined their lives and that I was a bad man. My own daughter. Twelve years old. is bound to be upset. All of them. Hmm? Don't torture yourself. Maybe in, in time you'll be able to see it. Look, please, can we not talk about it anymore? I just don't want to think about it anymore. I just, I just want... Oh. No, don't. Don't. Oh. I need to remind myself why I left. It's there, is it? of how Leonora didn't understand you or excite you or, or her stretch marks or the fat on her thighs. Hmm? What if my legs get fat? Oh, Christ. What if my legs... Ah, 